Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again with another video. Uh, I'm just going to sort of talk about what you can do with a four jaw chuck. So we've got a four jaw chuck on here, and I got this anvil that I welded together uh, back in 1977. And I just thought I'd sort of face off a bit. I made an anvil, uh, it's about eight inches long, and I, I just welded it all together uh, back in 1977. It was only weighs about two kilos, it's just a little small one for the workshop. And I just thought, oh, well, I've got a four jaw chuck, I've got a lathe, I'm going to uh, turn it into a poor man's mill, and I'm going to mill the surface off. So I've had about 13 passes so this is the final pass uh, I've got it on automatic so it's turning very very slowly on automatic and we're getting a beautiful finish so we're going from the inside to the outside that's the way that the Herka slave works and the tool bit is facing that way so yeah look it's, it's going really well we're getting a smooth surface look it's just something that I made and it just goes to show you that if you've got a four jaw chuck, you can turn, two of the jaws are turned inwards, two of the jaws are turned outwards, so that it can grip lengthways and sideways, because it's a lot longer than wider. So you can manipulate the jaws to suit. Just put a bit more fluid on there. And uh, yeah, look, I've milled up quite a few things. Just take your time. So, you know, I've done about 13 roughing cuts till I got it right, because I welded a little piece on the end of the anvil uh, so that I could tap things a little bit circular. Anyway, you'll see it when it's finished and uh, we'll see how it came up. Also, another word of caution, and you'll see it, when you're milling like this and you've got something in a forge or chuck, don't stand in front of the workpiece because if this thing comes flying out, it'll kill you. All right so yeah always stand this side of the workpiece work make sure that your body is this side because if that comes out you're going to have a serious injury or it can kill you can't emphasize that fact enough yeah, it's almost finished getting a few sparks there <laughs> cast iron it's only mild steel so I don't know why I'm getting sparks anyway we're producing sparks you're just about getting towards the end now well that's the end let's have a look at it I'll unlock the carriage Uh, that's the end of the anvil. It came up quite well. Nice and smooth. Beautiful. As I say, look, it was just a bit of an anvil in the workshop. Uh, nothing special. Just take it out of the four jaw chuck. It's quite long. I think it's about 180 millimetres. So just, just about on the limit of what the uh, Hercus can do. And see it came up the surface come up pretty good so it just goes to show you what you can do how you can turn it into a bit of a milling machine got to get that key and if you look at the configuration of the four jaw chuck you can see that this is way off center and these grip it that way so yeah, just turn your four jaw chuck into a bit of a milling machine and you can mill up some uh, bits and pieces. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.